Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back from lunch. Um, I, again, I'm Christine Haley, and I serve as our state's chief homelessness officer. And I would like to express my gratitude to Tracy Baim and to Kim Hunt and the team at Pride Action Tank uh, for hosting the summit. And I'd also like to thank, and just to tell the first panelists who spoke uh, how impacted and thankful I was for that first panel. Um, I, the, the sense that I have from the first half of the summit today is that we have a great sense of urgency. Yeah. And I used to work across the street from here at Cook County Hospital. Uh, that's where I worked before I was appointed here. So I would come in this building all the time and bring my lunch and eat here. So this is my lunch break place. Um, and working at Cook County Health, for a period of time, I worked in partnership with Housing Forward to manage a, a 19 bed medical respite center. And at the medical respite program, uh, we received most of our referrals from county. And in the winter time, uh, I worked very closely from, with a nurse from the burn unit. And she took care of people who had experienced homelessness and had frostbite and who had frostbite from, sorry, I'm advancing these slides, who had frostbite and had lost their fingers and who had lost their toes and some who had lost their legs below the knee, had below the knee amputations. And that was primarily who we, um, a large population of who we took care of. So when the first panelists today talked about that people are dying, that was very concrete. It is very concrete to us that there are people who are dying each day. And uh, one of the things that we do within the Office to Prevent and End Homelessness is create reports and work in partnership with our state agencies to create reports. And the Illinois Department of Public Health will be releasing next in this summer uh, a report on the health status of people experiencing homelessness. And we know that individuals experiencing homelessness die in Illinois at a rate of 17 years less than other, than housed Illinoisans, 17 years. We understand that folks die at higher rates of, from, from exposure than, than, the, than housed Illinoisans, that from, from suicide, from being attacked uh, from, and murders, um, from substance use disorders, from, from overdose. So the urgency that we feel is incredibly within us um, that, and we're thankful for the Tiny Home Summit to provide an opportunity for us to think quickly about how we might be able to bring housing more quickly online. In Illinois, we have seen drastic increases to the number of people who are experiencing homelessness in the state. Um, in the past, we anticipate that in the 2024 homeless count, uh, the point in time count of who is experiencing homelessness on any given day, we anticipate that number to be around 25,000. That is more than double of what we counted in 2023. And in Chicago's point in time count, which we heard about earlier today, uh, that was released in early June, we have also seen a, an increase in the number of unsheltered persons who are living in our city to nearly 1,600 people. So in our city, on any given day, there are 1,600 people who are living outside. And Tracy, how many people can fit in this room? Do you have a sense? 350. So 350 again and again and again and again are living outside in our city now. So if we do not feel the urgency of needing to figure out what are the solutions to end homelessness, um, you know, this, this, this summit can help us relight that energy in our work. In 2021, Governor Pritzker signed an executive order to, to address homelessness, setting our sights on putting an end to homelessness in the state. And in 2022, we released our first plan to prevent and end homelessness, Home Illinois. The primary pillar of Home Illinois is to build more affordable and permanent supportive housing. And believe it or not, at the end of this month, we will have reached the end of our first plan uh, and are actively working with the 16 state agencies um, in the Illinois Interagency Task Force on Homelessness to draft a new plan with innovative strategies to create the permanent housing that is needed to end homelessness. <laughs> Racial equity lies at the core of the Home Illinois framework. And last year, I brought together an esteemed group of black leaders from across the state 
including Kim Hunt, uh, to form our Racial Equity Roundtable on Black Homelessness. Our aim was to delve deeper into the root causes, the troubling root causes that, that caused in, in homelessness. And a recent report uh, by the University of Illinois Institute on Research on Race and Public Policy unveiled a distressing reality that black Illinoisans are eight times more likely than white Illinoisans to experience homelessness. And if you look at the rates of homelessness in states that have a black population of over a million, so looking at the difference between rates of white homelessness and the rates of black homelessness, Illinois is second worst in the nation behind New York State. So we have significant work that we need to do to be able to address the, these disparities and to start thinking about who is coming into the front door of the homeless system and why the disparities are so high. So that when we talk about lack of generational wealth, when we talk about redlining, when we're thinking about segregation and the impacts of segregation, when we're thinking about access to, to, to home lending and to the, the foundation of our housing systems, we should also be talking about homelessness and thinking about how those structural drivers are what drive homelessness, not bad decisions, decision making, or and other pieces, but what are those structural root causes that are causing uh, that, that black Illinoisans are showing up at shelter doors at, at some of the highest rates in the nation. But we included in our plan a response on how the, st the state will partner with the community to address and reduce the disparity. And we feel deeply the urgency and importance of addressing unjust rates of black homelessness with compassion and determination. In the 2025 state budget, which was signed a few weeks ago by Governor Pritzker, Home Illinois program funding increased from a $200 million line to a $290 million line based greatly in the advocacy that is done by partners in this room to ensure that we have continued funding for homelessness. And, and within this line, uh, within the Home Illinois program, there is funding for operating and services for rapid rehousing and scattered site permanent supportive housing. There is funding for prevention and medical respite and for shelter and permanent supportive housing services. We encourage communities to think about how to use the investments through Home Illinois to be leveraged for tiny homes. Thank you all for your commitment and to the vision of making tiny homes in Chicago a reality. We thank you for your fire, for your dedication, and for your work.